In the very first level of Duke Nukem 3D, there is a unisex public bathroom in the movie theater of the lobby with a big ass mirror that actually reflects you and other things like enemies and plenty more on it. This is one of the build engine's many bragging rights over the previous engines like the Doom engine from 1993 and how much game engines have evolved in 1996. Well, before Quake, yeah, 3D realms can do mirrors. But if you shoot the mirror with a gun, it gets bullet holes, and if you hit them with an explosive, even one that hasn't exploded yet, it stops being a mirror. You wanna know the best part? When you not clip through it, you get transported into a mirror world. What happened here? Well, it turns out the engine handles mirrors by having surfaces tagged as mirrors, and there is an identical copy of the room on the other side, with some magic to make the sprites work out. By having a surface like this, the game recreates a whole level mirrored. But what if you use a pipe bomb to destroy a mirror when you're inside it? Well, uh, the game becomes a broken mess. It will only render a, ho a Hall of Mirrors effect similar to that of Doom when there's a missing texture. Weird because the auto map shows areas you go into but not the area behind mirrors. If you can explore the mirror dimension as far as you can, but if you go too far, you die, even with God Mode active. If, you open up, if we open up the level in the level editor, the bathroom is made in 2D mode, and the red line on the top is a mirror. If we switch then to the 3D mode, you can see that it's got something weird going on with it. That S is a special effect called Sector Effector. Doing Nukem 3D has a lot of these. You just basically stick these parts in areas and it'll control some special attributes of that area. But here's a cool thing about Duke Nukem 3D's mirrors. There's two ways this might obviously work either by the level developer manually creating a copy of the room or the engine automatically cloning a room at runtime. Mostly, it's the latter, the engine is capable of cloning a room at runtime. Mostly. Back in a 2D map, there's a room at the other side of the mirror, and it's huge. If we go there in the 3D mode, we can see back into the bathroom, only you'll be in a big empty room. Because it turns out that yes, the build engine can build a reflection for you, but it does it at a load time. When the level is loaded, it finds the mirrors and copies the geometry into the room on the other side of the mirror. So, to include a mirror, you have to leave enough room for the game to copy the geometry or the mirror won't work properly. This is also why you die if you wander too far inside the mirror world. You just literally move outside of the map, because the game considers the empty room to be the area you can move around in, not the real geometry. So, what if we edit the level and make the room smaller? Well, it won't work unless you're inside the area of the room on the other side of the mirror. Basically, the mirror geometry is only defined for that size of a space. It only works fine where you're not too far from the mirror, and it can also kill you, even in God Mode, when you step outside of the geometry inside the mirror world. So now you know this build engine secret. Maybe you learned something new, or maybe it just gave you enough nightmare fuel. Either way, I hope this tidbit of information was useful for you. A big thanks to Foon for compiling about this and more in a Twitter thread with information on this subject. I'll leave the Twitter thread in the description.